Hey, what's going on? Google Corporation, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be basically like a test vlog of the GoPro Hero 10. I just bought one at Best Buy, but I have a little bit of a story to tell you about it. So basically, I went ahead and bought the GoPro Hero 10. Uh, bought it from Best Buy and uh, yeah, it was on sale. It was basically like $80 off and I got a free $50 gift card along with it. So I was like, you know what, wait, and why, why not? You know, like, yeah, everything's fine here. Everything's totally cool. When I opened up the box, the original box, not this one, when I opened up the box, there was no GoPro inside. So we went back and uh, told, uh, told the employees what happened. I spoke with customer service on the phone and they were kind enough to believe me. Thank you. Uh, honestly, like I wouldn't believe a customer in this case, but honestly, I was so shocked that it happened. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna unbox this one, and maybe just maybe this one will be fine. Very quick uh, unboxing of the GoPro Hero 10 comes in this nice like carrying case, which is kind of cool actually. So inside the box, you got your camera must be updated before you can use it. Install the GoPro Quick app on your phone. Make sure you have internet access and turn on your GoPro. The other two things that we're gonna be testing uh, today's video, the vlog, they're, they're gonna be these uh, wireless go-tos uh, from Rode. I know that there is a DJI variant that's uh, coming out next month, but I went ahead and bought these ones just cause I just kind of wanted to have something to use now, so. And of course, we can also use these wireless go-tos microphones because I have the media mod which gives you a mic input for the GoPro. So we're gonna be unboxing all this stuff, uh, charging everything and then giving it a test. So now we're outside and we're testing out the microphone. Uh, I got the Rode Wireless Go 2. Actually, this is perfect because it's like, there's a sort of like a wind. What do you, what do you call this? A wind storm? There's a wind advisory. A wind advisory. There's a wind advisory going on and the wind's pretty strong. And so this is actually like a perfect test for how good the uh, the little dead cat that comes with the, the microphone, how good it is at removing uh, that wind noise. Well, we're going into the mall today to go to some kind of BTS event. I'm also gonna be you know, checking out the actual donut shop that the event is taking place at. So we're gonna be checking that out first. And then afterwards, uh, got plans to go out to DC, sort of to get some things that were left behind. Sad. I can explain later, but anyway, yeah, so we're here, here at the mall. And how's the, how's the actual footage looking, people? Is the footage looking okay? This is shot on the GoPro Hero 10. Also, I might sound a little muffled, and that's probably because I'm wearing a mask and it's like kind of thick a bit, but just Thank a bit. Thank you. Alright, down the stairs. Oh, well, it's down the stairs. So now we're in a pretty loud environment, and this is actually going to be a good test as well. Uh, just to see how, how clearly you can hear me. And how clearly you can hear her too since uh, we're both mic'd up right now. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see just because I've never used a wireless mic system before. So this will be kind of cool. Also, I don't know if I have to manually turn on the automatic recording system inside the microphone itself so that I can EQ two different tracks or anything, but I don't know. Wow, okay, hold up. It's popping. That's the line for the donut shop, donut chew. That's where we're going right now. And my God, it is so busy. Dude, what the heck? It's for uh, Tegan's birthday. So the inside of this place is pretty decorated. It's kind of crazy. Looks really nice. Everything's very shiny, honestly. So this clip right here, I've turned up the decibels of the microphones just a tad bit. So it's at the second stage. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the audio. I'm not gonna really mess with the audio all that much uh, in post. 
just because I want to kind of get like a sort of a raw test to see how good does this sound and how good can these microphones be just out of the box for, you know, just like a normal average person, right? So not someone who knows a whole lot about audio EQ. For those of you watching who are looking for just like a very standard, just average kind of consumer review, uh, this, is, this is a test just for that. So let me know, how does it sound? So we got our donuts now. Here they are. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. So we got the donuts now from Donut Shoe. The logo's really cute, I like it. But yeah. There's two Fruity Pebbles, two Ube, two Oreo, two of the yogurt, which has RJ's face on it. Uh, explanation for RJ. RJ? What about RJ? It's for Jin Day. Happy Jin Day. Yeah, I mean, like, who is RJ? Like, oh, from BT21. So RJ is a BT21 character. BC21 is a group of characters that was made uh, basically by Line. It's a Korean company. And each one of the group members in BTS, uh, Bangtan Sonyeondan, made their own little character. Today is a celebration for Jin's <laughs> birthday. Uh, Jin is this guy right here. And so his character is RJ, and hence why we have RJ Donut. We also got the Cocoa Pebbles and then some of the original. So we're gonna be trying this out, but I need to film a little bit more for the Instagram reel. I'm gonna film for that first and then we'll like discuss how good the donuts are. Which by the way, if you are gonna go watch the reel, uh, the short video for this, it'll be uploaded on the Bobby Eats YouTube channel. Link will be in the description below. If you haven't already, go subscribe to that. That's where a lot of the other food sort of stuff is going to be going for my channel. So it would mean a lot to me if you went over there and click that subscribe button. Also subscribe here as well. 99% of you don't subscribe to my channel that watch my videos. So please do that. All right, so I've just finished filming for all of the uh, Instagram reel footage that I needed. But yeah, these these are really good. Tear off a little piece. They're very, uh, what's the right word for this? Torgi torgi? Yeah. It's really chewy. It's chewy, but not right. too chewy. It's like good. No, it's a good chewy. It's like a correct level of chewy. It's not like a gum. It's got like tensile strength. You know what I mean? It's not just like mush. And the original is not that sweet. It's like a, it tastes like a funnel cake before you put the powdered sugar on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a little bit of the ube. Just gonna break it off real quick. Yeah. Boom. So it has an ube. Looks really good too. Oh. Let me try the fruity pebble. Yeah. Goes really well with my ube drink. Fruity pebble. Fruity pebble. Can I have a little bit of Oreo maybe? Oh, okay. Is that possible? Ooh, wow. Oh, yeah. It's not too sweet. The Oreo is really good. If you guys are the type of people that don't like uh, too like sugary food or snacks or desserts or whatever, or even drinks and stuff. Uh, basically, I have the Ube drink, which is their number three most popular drink of their list. And I asked for like half sweetness, and this is like, perfect for me. Try the yogurt, the RJ. I would recommend half sweetness. RJ. So I, I guess this is like their regular yogurt. It just has RJ on it. It's kind of just like, um, like a regular glaze. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not really like a, a yogurt-esque kind of flavor here. It's kind of just like glaze. Yeah. Kind of just like a glaze. It's not so tan. It tastes like glaze. Yeah. I mean, it's still good though. Yo, this All is right. my kind of dessert. It's not that sweet. All right, well, we're gonna pack up and then head out to uh, DC. So, meet you all there. This is oh. left Reagan. Uh, so I guess a uh, little story time, right? So why were we at Reagan in the first place? So on Tuesday, I had a flight from LAX to DCA, but because the wind was so bad here, um, we ended up landing at IAD. And we all, it was like, it's crazy because they weren't planning on it and they didn't have enough fuel to keep circling around. So we were stuck at IAD for like a good, I want to say almost two hours. I was like, oh my God, I don't think I could like stomach another flight because the turbulence was so bad. So I decided to get off at IAD. And apparently because I got off at IAD, it was like me agreeing to me picking up my luggage at a later time at Washington, D.C. 
So thankfully, Andrew gave me a ride and helped me pick up my luggage today. Uh, apparently my bag stood out. They like remember my bag and I recognize my voice. <laughs> I guess it's like the same people working like every day. Well, every bag is usually like black. Well, that's right? true too. So, the, the other bags that were still there were all black and gray. Yeah, I mean, yours is gonna be pretty distinct. So. Anyway, so right now we're gonna head to, for dinner. Is it dinner? Winner? I don't know. I guess it's we, Linner. We kind of didn't have lunch. That's true too. I, I'm gonna call it Linner. So we're gonna go head to Arlington and we're gonna try this taco place Wait, that your friends doing? recommended. Oh yeah, I'll take this exit. Okay. Yeah, they uh, recommended it to me. What is it called again? Nyonyos. Nyonyos? Yeah, it's called Nyonyos. The pictures look really good, so I'm excited. Yeah, they have like media tacos and stuff, you know, oh, like really? the dipping kind. So the parking here, there's actually like a small little parking lot. So it's not too bad, but it was kind of hard to see because they don't actually have a sign. Uh, the only way that I knew that it was Nyonyos was because like I was looking at the actual door itself. But basically it's wedged in between that panda bowl thing and then the, uh, kebab. the kebab place. So yeah, getting here was a little tricky, but managed to find it, so it's all good. Also, this is a really good audio test. Uh, just to let you all know, it is really noisy in here. Uh, there's like other parties dining here as well, and they're, you know, uh, much louder. So basically, like, it's gonna be really good as an audio test. I'm excited to see, like, how much it cuts out and how, you know, sort of directional the microphone is. It'll be interesting. Check out the tacos. They look really nice. You can actually order these with like cheese, but we didn't get any cheese. But either way, it looks good. This is the beauty of ramen. And uh, basically, I guess you're supposed to take this soup and just like pour it in. So that's what I'll do. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh wait, this was a sukumen, actually. I yeah. think that's what they called it. Yeah. So I guess you're supposed to dip. Oops. I but even... I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at these noodles. Wow, looks nice. So I guess we'll just like dig in, you know? Yep. And see how it is. All right, cool. Let's uh, give this a try. It's probably like super hot. Yeah. I imagine. But it looks really, really good. It's so good. It's really good. Yeah. Try this. Dang, dude. That's really good. Shocking. Kind of surprised, honestly. I don't know how that is, though. It's basically the same. It gives a really good portion, too. This taco does not break apart. Mm. Yeah, it's structure. I saw one, one review gave it like two out of five. Really? But it's pretty good. I think it's really nice. I want to see like what this good. sauce is though. Those are your ramen though. I've never, I'm never awake for breakfast. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, you know what? Your thing is called like spike spicy chicken. Nice. It's really actually. Oh, oh, it's actually really spicy. Oh, wow. Very nice. So I'm back in my apartment now. And uh, there's actually a couple things that I want to talk about in regards to this wireless microphone. I think the quality of the mics is quite good. And with a little bit of tweaking and sort of understanding the software that comes with uh, the Rode Wireless Mic Go 2, I can never remember the order, honestly. With a little bit of tweaking, you can make these things sound pretty dang good. Honestly, what I'm not really all that satisfied with is uh, the quality of the actual GoPro Hero 10. So I've actually used the GoPro Hero 8 and you can actually check out some of the footage that I use for the vlogs before on the vlog channel, link in the description below. And honestly, I'm not really all that impressed with the performance of the GoPro Hero 10. 
excuse my super empty apartment, but basically if you wanted to get a uh, new vlogging camera and you were thinking about getting the GoPro Hero 10, but you also already own a GoPro Hero 8 like I do, I think the smarter option is actually to just get the GoPro Hero 8 media mod and get the display mod so that you can have that, you know, flip up screen and be able to actually see, you know, yourself and make sure that, you know, you're in the frame and everything. To get the GoPro Hero 10 as sort of like an upgrade to your GoPro Hero 8 and, you know, trying to justify it as like, oh, it's a better camera, it's gonna look better, all that sort of thing. Honestly, uh, as you saw from the footage, it really wasn't all that much better than the GoPro Hero 8. I don't know, to me, it just didn't really look all that good. Obviously, I think, you know, with like proper color correcting, you know, if you shoot in sort of a flat color profile on the GoPro and you have a custom LUT that you can use, you can definitely make the footage look much nicer than it does in this vlog. If you already have a GoPro Hero 8, I think you're honestly better off just getting the media mod and the display mod for your vlogging purposes. Either way, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.